Hello there and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Heroes, Trails in the Sky, second chapter. I am the RNG Genius, but you may call me Eric. And in the last, last episode we finished up the whereabouts of Bonds and ended chapter 6. Estelle and Joshua together escaped from the Crimson Ark and after that Joshua was dead set on leaving Estelle behind again because, because he um, thinks he uh, proves to be a danger for her. But Estelle managed to actually crack through his iron hard shell. And, well, I'm curious how it's gonna, how the story is going to unfold. Esmela's Tower. This is Blue Blanc. The device is in place. I await the beginning of the ceremony. This is Direwolf, all done here. Hurry up and get this started. This is Betwitching Bell. The beta's in place. <laughs> Ren here. I'm ready so we can start whenever. The moment is upon us. Let us begin stage three of the plan. Oreo, sealed in the darkness where Zeptium's light does not reach. May you gaze upon your may, may you gaze upon our poor material world through our, your gospel. Gaze upon these four pillars. They are the final shackles that bind you. Simple they may appear to be, but know that their purpose was long shrouded by the decree of man. Which hands which b with hands which bend the will of all reveal their true form. Ladies, gentlemen, our blessed celebration is ready. Now go enjoy it to your fullest. Excellent! We, the enforcers of Robros, by order of the Nanguiz, we shall now liberate you all, you of your shackles. Chapter 7, the Tetracyclic Towers. Grancel Castle. And that is the situation as it stands and all the information I gathered while aboard the Glorious. Mm, this is this is like uh, this is like looking into the maw of madness. 
To think a monster of a ship like that has intruded into Liberal. What could they possibly plan to do with something so powerful? Unfortunately, I did not manage to learn all the details of the Gospel plan. I do know that they're already... that they've already begun the next phase of it, though. They said the third stage of the plan was getting ready to start, but that's about it. The situation is grim. General Morgan, has the army begun to, pla uh, to plan a response? These two, as might be expected, contacted Cassius last night before coming to us. At, at his suggestion, I've put the entire army on a state of high alert. We have the entire aerial fleet and the air patrolling the widths and breadths of the kingdom now, your majesty. I see, very good. Estelle, Joshua, thank you very much for your hard work. No, it's nothing. We just did the right thing, you know. To be honest, I should have approached you much earlier. I apologize for my earlier behavior, especially the theft of, a, of the airship. Wait, Joshua! It's all right, Estelle. I'm prepared for whatever punishment they deem fit. Hmm. Your Majesty, what shall we do with him? Yes, I believe we will have to bend the letter of the law to match its spirit in this case. In light of all the of the information on the society you have brought us, Joshua Stray, I am willing to pardon you for your past deeds. Really? But your ma- It is all right, Joshua. To be honest, an orphan of Hamel deserves a far greater recompense than a queen's simple discretion. Oh. Hmm. As I imagined, you do know that I knew of the massacre and have remained quiet about it until now. What? What do you mean? The Hundred Days' War began with a furious declara declaration of war from Erebonia to Liberal. It was given on the basics that the butchery at Hamel was conducted by Liberal's armed forces. However, as a condition of the treaty that ended the war, the Empire retracted the accusation, on the grounds that neither side would ever, under any circumstances, speak of Hamel again. Just like Löwe said. Once I considered the circumstances, I could, if vaguely, see what had happened in the Empire. However, even though Cassius's counterattack plan had gained us significant victories, Erebonia had not committed the bulk of its military to the inv invasion of Liberal. If they returned with the greater part of their army, after realizing that, I agreed to their conditions. Oh. Hmm. I chose to prioritize my nation's safety over the pursuit of the truth. I destroyed any hope the victims who were lost in the shadows had for justice. Those words that Lieutenant Lawrence, that Leonhard said to me, you are hardly qualified to feel pity for me. He was absolutely correct. Your Majesty. Your Majesty, please do not blame yourself. You had no connection to the massacre and the safety of your entire nation was at risk. As a ruler, you made the right decision. Joshua. This land of liberals, my home. It is the place that, mentioned, that mended my broken heart. I don't hate you for choosing to protect it, your majesty. I thank you for it. Joshua, yeah! Thank you, Joshua. To hear you say that feels as though a burden was lifted from my shoulders. Estelle, Joshua! Ah, everyone. Estelle, I'm so glad you're safe. And Joshua? You're both back! You're both back! Chloe, Tita. Hi guys, sorry to make you worry. Really, you two, the way you behave can drive a woman to drink, you know? Heh. <laughs> Still, though, good to see you brought your back, your little runaway after all. Chira, Gate. Glad to see you two are back. Hmm. <laughs> I am certain this, too, must be the divine guidance of Ideos. <laughs> Sorry for all the, all the fuzz. You dang well better be. You dang well better be. Oh, Kevin! I gotta tell you, Estelle, when you got snapped up, I just about flipped out in every direction I could. Seriously, don't make me worry like that next time, okay? Yeah, sorry about that. So then, this must be... 
Yes, I'm Joshua Stray. A pleasure to meet you, Father Graham. Ah, uh, even more handsome than I'd ex uh, even more handsome than I'd expected. And wait, you know me? I heard about you once or twice while keeping an ear open for what Estelle was doing. I heard how you helped Estelle when she was in need several times. Thank you, I'm grateful for your help. Mm, uh, it wasn't a big deal. So if you two have made up, I won't say anything. Except... Just don't let your girlfriend leave your girlfriend in the lurch like that again, huh? Otherwise, some of us will take that as a cue, as a coup, she's single again. I will uh, keep that in mind. Uh, what are you two whispering about? Nothing, just a guy thing. <laughs> yes, it's nothing. If it's something dirty, I can show you the girl thing with uh, we do with a stick in response. Pardon me, your majesty. Dad. Cassius. General Bright, thank you for coming. Have you gotten the orders out to all forces? Yes, I flew out here as soon as I was, a f as I was finished. I thought it was about time to come and do it my duty as a father. What? We spoke on the fo phone yesterday, but this is the first time we've met face to face in a while. Yes, it is. I'm sorry I made you worry. I knew the oath you made. I'm nearly as much to blame as you are. You needn't apologize, but I must do my duty. Ah! Oh! Whoa, wait, Dad! It's alright, Estelle. That's what you're supposed to do with a run to a runaway son, right? Exactly. It looks like you understand now. Just how badly everyone was worried about you, hmm? Yes. It's just the sort of, th uh, the sort of thing you, someone like me wouldn't realize, isn't it? Yes. It is a hard thing to truly grasp. No man stands alone even if he tries the hardest to. He, he is affected by those around him. And conversely, he affects those around him simply through the act of living. Even without meaning to, we form relationships. And in time, those relationships become bonds. Bonds. And a bond once formed never breaks. No matter how, we, how far we travel, no matter how, what path we follow, they remain in some form. Do you understand just how strong such bonds can be now? Yes. Honestly, I'd underestimated them. I didn't understand how po powerful they could be at all. Joshua. If you've learned that, then I think your little walking tour was worth it. Joshua, you damn fool of a son of mine. Welcome home. Cassius. Dad. <laughs> <laughs> I might say half the foolishness comes from the, the parent myself. <laughs> It's a lovely moment, Morgan. Come now. Pardon me? Captain Schwartz, was it? What is it? Your Majesty, sirs, there are massive groups of unidentified creatures near all five major cities. From the reports, we suspect they became... They may be archaisms, but we're not sure. What? They've started moving. Also, we've received reports of herds of armored beasts and soldiers wearing red from every nation. Every region. Local guard forces are engaged in fighting them back. As I feared. I should return to Arkengate immediately. Also... Schwartz, there can't possibly be more. There is. We like details, but there's some kind of... abnormality. is the only way to put it. At the towers. The top of each tower has been engulfed in darkness. It's bizarre. What in the... I hate it when my bad feelings turn out to be right. Furthermore, a guard ship on patrol attempted to approach one, but it began suffering catastrophic system failures as it approached and only barely managed to pull back. All the suspension. What about ground-based scouts? I've already dispatched them. No word back. You... Excuse me, Captain Schwartz, I have a report. The scouting units deployed to the towers have all been destroyed. It sounds impossible, but every squad was scattered by just one person. The, rep the reports are consistent. What? That can only be... 
Yes, only an enforcer could do that. Dad, the normal army troops have no hope of defeating them. Let me go. Hmm. Excuse me, Joshua, but why are you trying to go out on your own? Did you already forget the promise we made? But Estelle, the society's on the move. As a bracer of liberal, I can't just sit back and ignore them. I'm going after them too, either way. Estelle. It isn't just Estelle either, I'm coming as well. I have my own personal reasons for wanting to confront one of them after all. As do I. Shira Zane. Point is, you ain't the only one tied up in this. No running off without us, okay? I got it. That's right, Joshua. This is just the kind of time we we all need to work together. A gay Tita. Thank you, I appreciate it. Looks like you've decided. Then allow me to make a formal request of the Bracer Guild on behalf of the Royal Army. I want you to investigate and resolve the situations at each of the tetracyclic towers. Bring the phenomena to a halt and, if possible, apprehend those responsible. Yeah, got it. The guild accepts your mission, General Bright. Grandmother? Will you lend us the RSA? Huh? Y your Highness? <laughs> Certainly, this is a situation which demands haste. I was considering offering the RSA regardless, but if you're asking yourself, does that mean you are ready? No, not yet. When I return the ship, however, then I will have an answer for you. <laughs> Very well. Liberal's wings are of hope are yours to use as you see fit. Thank you very much. Julia, prepare the Arsay for launch, please. We must head to the towers immediately. By your command, milady. And so Liberal fell into chaos not seen since the Hundred Days War. Cassius and Morgan returned to Leeston Fortress and the Haken Gate respectively to take command of the Royal Army. Meanwhile, Estelle and her friends headed to the towers, which dotted the landscape using the Arsay. Receive payment for facility infiltration. 4 BP, 10,000 Mira. Hmm, I didn't expect you'd have to go back to Erebonia, Oliver. It is a bit out of the, out of the blue. No, to be honest, it was due back some time ago. However, you, Estelle, so monopolized my time, I delayed my return for a while. I see. Sorry, I guess it's my fault. <laughs> Not at all. Don't you worry your precious head over it. In return for my accompanying you hither and yon, I was able to reunite with my dear sweet Joshua, after all. <laughs> You're the same as always, Oliver. Say, Oliver. What is it? You... No, never mind. Thank you for taking the time to help Estelle on her journeys. <laughs> I merely followed my whims. You need not be so guarded. Though, if you insist on a passionate farewell kiss, well... Yeah, no, that's enough, thanks. Ha! Can't you say goodbye seriously at least once? <laughs> I thought you would have learned by now that I'm always serious. Estelle, Joshua, Shira, anyone? If you, you have great trials ahead of you, so be careful. You know that Oliver Lenheim shall pray for your success from the skies of Erebonia. Thanks, Oliver. <laughs> you take care, too. Stay safe, Oliver. If we get the chance, we should go drinking again. Next time we meet, try ditching the love-struck idiot act, alright? Hehe. <laughs> Goodbye, Oliver. Didn't know you long, but it was good time. See ya. Farewell, Oliver. Thank you for your help. Hey! Grandpa! Hello again, friends! Tita, have you been a good girl? Hehe, <laughs> yep! Back up a sec, Gramps, why are you here? Well, as you may have noticed, a bit f a fair bit is going on. They brought me on board a few days ago. Far more importantly, Estelle, Joshua, it does an old man's heart good to see you two back safe. <laughs> yeah, we managed it somehow. I'm sincerely sorry to have worried you, Professor. No, no, my boy, if you're back safe, that that's what matters. So the business at hand is the tetracyclic towers and the strangeness atop them. Looks like I'll have to throw this old bag 
uh, uh, this old bag back into another mystery. Thanks, Professor. I was wondering too. Do you have any suggestions for uh, suggestions for which tower we should start with? That's a good question. The closest are the Amberol and Carnelia towers, but really, they are all they are all the same now. With your sail speed, the distance doesn't really matter. My advice would be to prioritize targets where we have solid information on our enemies. Information? Like what? We received an update from the scout unit dispatched to, to Esmila's tower. A masked man in formal white clothing appeared there. That must be the phantom thief guy. But what we heard back in the castle? To be defeated by one man! Hmm. Guess he isn't just some opera clown after all. Blue Blanc, the Phantom Thief. His specialty is in enforcers and trickery. False image copies, shadow pinning, that sort of thing. Fighting him is going to be like fighting a riddle. That sounds ducky. Still, just knowing who the enemy is will make it easier than any other tower. Okay, let's head to Esmilla's tower first. As you wish. Engines full ahead. Set course for Esmilla's tower in the Roland region. Oliver, what are you up to? <laughs> and so ends the mor moratorium I placed upon myself? No, I may yet have one chance left, perhaps. Wait! Ah, you two? Ah, oh, they're gone! <laughs> Ah, uh, didn't make it in time, ah. Uh. <sighs> what who, good reporters? Were you hoping to get on board as you did during the d dragon case? Yeah, we heard Joshua was back. Ah, whatever, Dorothy, hurry up and grab a shot at the RC. If you use the long distance lens, we should be able to get a usable shot. Aye, aye, sir. You have said your goodbyes? Such as they were, were were to make, yes. Have you... Uh, 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 how have your preparations come along? I imagine to arrange everything with my um uncle. As for Chancellor Osborne, he actually found the idea to be perfectly timed. He does seem like the kind of man who would be well liked by liberalians. Hmm. This will be a grand processional. Ah, you have the nastiest hobbies. I can already see their shocked expressions in my mind. <laughs> ah, but that is a large part of the, my goal, my f of the goal, my friend. And so, when next we meet, we shall be foes. Do not lose to the likes of the society, my erstwhile liberalian allies. Oh, Oliver. We arrived at Esmela's tower. Whoa, that was seriously fast. That wasn't even 30 minutes, was it? Heh, <laughs> that's about right, yeah. We were about three times as fast as a big passenger airship. The engine, right. What's happening on top of the tower? Let me put it on display. Oh, that's, you know, there's this game for the Wii, Super Smash Brothers Brawl. If you play the story mode, there are similar things like these, but those aren't good either, let me tell you. What in, what in the heck? Looks like a bit, looks a bit like that Blake wave, the, or the Gospels emit, but static. Yes, but unlike the waves, it's confined to the top of the tower. I wouldn't recommend we get close. 
Julia. How will we get to the surface? Unfortunately, the terrain is too rough to land the RC. We should be able to get close enough to, uh, to lower the lift while hovering. Use that. The lift? The cargo bay elevator lift. It's normally used... Oh, I'm sorry. It's normally used to load items onto the ship. Ah, okay. Now we just need to decide who should investigate the tower and who should stay in reserve. Please form your party. You may choose two other members aside from the ma from the mandatory members. Right. Chloe is a must take. And apart from that, I am not so sure at all. Now we have our tank. Recovery crafts and range reliable defense in the field. Hmm. No need. <sighs> Tita. I think Tita. Right then, I'll be done. I'll be busy in the lab downstairs. If you kids need your ornaments tuned or you need new quartz, come by. You bet. Tita, take care. Uh-huh. Don't worry, Grandpa. I haven't been traveling this long with everyone without learning a little. Mm, I bet you haven't. Don't worry, Professor. We'll make sure she stays safe. Yes, take care of her, please. We shall. We still don't know what the enemy's goal is. Have a care as you... Have a care as you rush into danger like palms, you hear? Okay, once we're ready, let's get to the surface. Yeah, the lift is in the cargo bay. Let's see, Tita, let's see. Buster gear. I'm gonna switch that up now. Gypsy Queen. Or Misty Veil. Arts up and defense up. You have the Star Rabbits. That's the best shoes you could put be possibly wearing right now. Also, you get Gladiator Headband. Is something that I should put on Joshua, actually. Shine Sphere. I'm gonna put that on Joshua. Gladiator Headband. Chloe? No, you're absolutely fine like that. And you get... First of all, long barrel two. And second of all, you get I'm not entirely sure. Sleep and faint or uh, sleep and faint shot. Uh, mm, I wonder. Let's take a Crest Charm. I don't know what's gonna be up with, you know, but I think it's worth trying. So, you're gonna get an EP Cut 4 if I have one. Well, I did put it on Joshua. Okay, let's see who I still have stuff on. Change party. Need to change team members. I'm all set, to, I'm all set to go. I'm gonna have two. I'm gonna have you give me your... Did give I did give you heaven's eye. I want that back, buddy. I want that back. Seal. I I won't need seal, but action three not either. Ah, anyways. What equipment does he have uh, apart from that? You have the other gladiator at band. Wait, I couldn't possibly have three at this point. No, I gave you an emergency lock a, a, a puppet. And the Shine Sphere, I'm going to take that with me as well. Haken Boots. So, uh, uh, are you going to be good with Haken Boots? No, those would suck on you. And what about the Survival Vest? That 
That's worth. Yeah, that's worth. I mean, the minus 40 defense, plus, but plus 5 speed and plus 20 agility, yeah. Folger, yeah, that's gonna have to be how that goes. Okay. But we still didn't have that uh, EP cut 4 I was looking for. EP cut 3 is gonna have to do it here. Then this is some place that you equip. I know who that ha who has the defense for. I know who's equipped with that. Oh, where's? Where are my people? Where are you at, Chloe? What's wrong? What's wrong, Chloe? Oh, hey Estelle. It's nothing. I was just thinking. Thinking, huh? I guess you would be kind of worried. I'm sorry. I know this is a bad time. No, don't worry about it. Not like I'm I'm the, I'm I'm one to talk anyway. Just a little t while ago, I was the one making everybody worry. Though in my case, it was all a certain someone's fault. Mm, yes, yes, I throw myself on my blades and regret on the hour every hour. <laughs> so, Chloe, don't worry about being a burden or something, okay? We help each other out when we're in trouble, right? Thank you, Estelle. Still, don't he hesitate to call me if you need me. I know my skills in battle are meager, but I'll do everything I can to help. Do not undersell yourself, because, you know, we'll be counting on you, Chloe. Okay. No. Oh. Miss clicks our head. I know it's been 30 minutes, I know. But I want Father Kevin here. Okay. Yeah, you're still standing there. That's the best. Father Kevin, you have something I want. Action 4 as well. I gave that to you. And mine 4. I can keep these, but the de a death blow I want to keep. Okay. Now let's get her up. You first of all take this. Then here is where you equip the death blow 1 because it has nearly no stats on it. This is the biggest line you have down here. What could I equip down here? Hit. Makes sense. And here. EP4 would make sense, wouldn't it? No, never mind. Haze. No. Action 4. What am I going to equip here? First of all, this slot. You can take Heaven's Eye, won't you? Movement plus three has five space value. I don't need that five space value, honestly. You want attack four, definitely. And mind four could not hurt. It couldn't hurt, but what else would I like on her? What does luck have? Hmm. Oh boy! What is this? Earth wall? Immunity? Wow. Petrosphere binds foes' legs with the power of the earth. Phantom pain? Okay. Titanic roar. Well, you're not selling yourself short like this, little one. Volcanic rave. Hmm. That does lower her attack quite a bit, though. Quite a bit. If, if I put not defense for there, but I mean, I had. You had one earth, no. I'm not talking about one earth here. Two earth, won't cut it either. Her strength is already already at 750, I wanna get that up. Then again with a little more health. Well, that wouldn't hurt, definitely. 
I'm not gonna be using too too many arts on her, am I? That's plus 50. Plus 50 arts. If I put the absorb here, what do you look like now? Spiral Flare, Napalm Breath. You do have tier 3 fire magic at this point. Soul Blurs. Clock up X is important on her. That heal's not going to be something I ever use, but that's okay. I'm probably not going to be using the, the magic that much anyways. I think she's good like this. Looking good. Change party. We're gonna take Chloe and Tita with us. We are. Just because right now I not only have I just equipped Tita with everything we have, but um, I really enjoy Tita as a character. Chloe is my favorite character this game actually. And um, well, we, we're doing pretty good like this. We're not gonna lose like this anyways. At, at least not when we're four people. But this is gonna have to be it for this episode. Don't you be sad. It's been 37 minutes, man. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope I'll see you in the next episode as well. Until next time, bye-bye.